Uh, this is Nelson Ranch. So, as expected, you know, this new Major Lamont that came out, she's actually quite good. <laughs> so, here she is. <clears throat> um, so, you know, if you pull for her, uh, she'll probably do quite well in the upcoming uh, League of Heroes. Uh, she'll probably do well in any mile or mid distance. <laughs> Um, and if you're, you know, a fan of her, I guess there's really no reason not to pull. <laughs> um, I also probably want to pull her because I think I could use this uh, for uh, some of the other characters as well, for the mile or for the mid distance. So uh, she might be very good as a parent uh, or a grandparent. So. I don't want to use all my uh, jewels right now, but I definitely am going to pull the daily. So here we go. Come on! <laughs> Long shot star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. And I'm thinking of pulling with the uh, this tickets. So I've got uh, 19 tickets right now, so I might as well use them all. Here we go. And let's go. Come on. <laughs> Please, favorite star, okay? Pop somewhere. <laughs> oh my god! <sighs> oh. One more. That was Scarlet. Ah. <sighs> Okay. That didn't work out. And nine more tickets here. There we go. And one, two, three. Okay. Long shot star. Uh. <laughs> Well, more gold this time. Is it Orion? Is it Orion? Tachyon. And a Top Gun. Vodka. Diva Scarlet. Nice Nature. Twin Turbo. Sakura Bakshingo. Oof! <laughs> so there you go. Um. And then I'll pull the daily for 10 more days until the 30th, see what happens, uh, and I might I might just you know, pull the trigger at that point. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what I do know, I think, is that the uh, next, uh, what do you call it, uh, Paka Live TV should come up before this thing is over, so we'll know actually what the uh, next gacha set is going to be. I'm probably not going to pull for the support cards. Uh, Gold Ship basically is the equivalent of Agnes Tachyon. So Agnes Tachyon is the card that you want if you're going to run a uh, leader. Uh, Asian Flash SSR is probably the card you want to have if you want to train a uh, betweener. And this Gold Ship card is probably the card that you want to have as the third card for a chaser. Uh, uh, she's good, but I don't think she's going to be that that super great, so I don't really see the need to uh, pull for her. Uh, her skill numbers have actually been reduced, so that's actually much better. <laughs> uh, and uh, the event, she gives you this gold skill. Uh, the uh, gold, This is the gold, uh, speed ver skeeds, uh, gold speed skill of Agnes Digital, uh, Umamania, so that's actually pretty good skill as well. I think it's a three second skill. Okay and lastly uh, the update is in. Uh, for December it is going to be the Ari Makinen 2500 and if you happen to have characters that did really well uh, in the uh, 3000 meter League of Heroes 
you probably can use that character. In my case, I actually didn't delete this character. Uh, so this is long distance S, speed 1575, power 1447, stamina event 20 uh, with this uh, gold recovery skill. So I could probably run this uh, Inari one uh, as is. The only skill that's like not useful is this skill here because this is autumn. Um, but I could probably run this Inari one. Um, if this skill doesn't proc, uh, either this skill, uh, if these two skills proc, she's, she's going to be able to run the uh, Adi Makina perfectly fine, uh, 2,500 meters. So uh, that's always one of possibility for people to keep in mind. If you have not deleted your uh, long distance 3,000 meter characters, you can probably use them for the upcoming uh, 2,500 meter Adi Makina. So uh, that's one character that I might use again. Uh, so that saves time. <laughs> um, and for other characters, uh, people probably have a lot of choices. Uh, I don't have Blaze Brian, but if you have a, if you have Blaze Brian, uh, she'll be a strong candidate. Uh, Narita Brian in her long distance. Uh, I also don't have the swimsuit version of uh, Major McQueen, but if you have the swimsuit version of Major McQueen or the original version. Or possibly even the white version should probably also be quite good as well. Because um, I think this skill now is going to improve to active rest, so that's actually good. Um, uh, as for leaders, I think uh, TM Opera Will would have been very, very good, I think, uh, for the Adi Makinen. The only problem is that you can't use the SSR. Intelligence car for Team Opera on Team Opera, <laughs> so uh, you probably can't use her as a leader uh, when you want to use her as a leader. So that kind of sucks. Uh, and this is Daddy McKinnon, so runners will be actually quite viable. Uh, runners like Daiwa Scarlet or any of the uh, powerful runners like Kitasan Black, right? Or Dan Sky, uh, this version here. Um, and of course, uh, betweeners, Sakura Laurel probably would be dominant once again. Uh, but betweeners uh, basically uh, will be able to put up the uh, uh, this skill that Satana Diamond has. Where she go? This is a New Year version of Satana Diamond. Uh, this skill that you can get from uh, the Intelligent uh, Manhattan Cafe card, um, and this will actually get get you the acceleration you need. So any uh, betweener really is going to be viable. Uh, it's not like the League of Heroes where you need to be one, two, and three. So as long as any one character wins, you win. So you know. So you can pair it with a debuffer if you really want to like. <laughs> so in my case, if I really want to just save time and energy, I would just send out the E91 that I already have. I would send out one speed debuffer that I used for the Donsan 2400 that I made a long, long time ago. And all I have to do would be just, you know, uh, create a new character, just one new character uh, out of this list. Um, I'm personally thinking about sending out this uh, special week. This is the special week that everybody can get, and her skills uh, basically is designed to win the Adi Makinen. So, you know, her speed is going to increase tremendously if you run the Adi Makinen race. Uh, she also has, as part of her event, uh, the Winter Uma Musume, so that increases speed as well. Um, and you get this skill that, you know, uh, increase speed at the final corner. Uh, it's like a, a unique skill that only she has. So, you know, all you have to do basically is to stick uh, Manhattan Cafe into her, get her to accelerate. And then uh, she's a betweener, right? So um, one possibility is if you have this card, like I do. <laughs> this is an old speed card. But if you have an old speed card like this one, where she go? Mm, Rob Roy, where are you, Rob Roy? <laughs> this one here. Uh, I, you know. If you have an old speed card like Zen the Rob Roy, then you can actually get, uh, not that one, this one, no. You can get this uh, gold recovery skill, and you can either get right turn or left turn. So you stick right turn on uh, 
on uh, uh, what's her name uh, special week and you get the winter girl on special week and then you get the uh, you get the uh, recovery skill that you need so you don't have to go to like you know 1200 uh, stam although it'd be nice to have 1200 stam because there might be debuffers running around you never know um, and then you get Manhattan Cafe to give you that acceleration skill, and boom, you're ready. <laughs> so, you know, get this character. So, uh, what I would do is... No, not that. So, here we go. This would be... Uh, where are you? Do, 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 do. Jungle Pocket. This would be... Send the Rob Roy, uh, and then this would be uh, well. You know what? You can use a stamina card, um, or I think you can also go with a guts card. Um, so if you load up on uh, stamina factors, uh, then when you, you can just inherit stamina and you can jack up your. Uh, guts here and then you I would borrow Manhattan Cafe or you do the reverse you have a strong I mean uh, this is not that strong but you have a strong uh, you know uh, stamina card and you put all the factors in uh, guts and so you know you raise your stamina and guts that way so one or the other it really doesn't matter um, this is a card that I, I we could potentially use because you can actually get this skill and this skill is actually quite cheap it's a cheap gold skill but uh, it's one two three four five six seven eight <laughs> from the character that you already have uh, plus the uh, scenario gimmick nine and then the bonus from uh, Manhattan Cafe 10. So that's 10 potential gold skills that you can stack onto one character. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you want to do that. I did that with my Tamam Across in the last 2400, but you know, and you don't know if your your gold skills are going to all, you know, complete uh, in the new uh, scenario because the scenario is relatively short uh, compared to the other scenarios. But you know. Uh, this is one possibility. Uh, if I do Haru Urara here, uh, where are you? Then obviously I won't be using uh, her uh, skill. <laughs> um, actually, now that I think about it, this is uh, race bonus 10, that's race bonus 10. Manhattan Cafe is race bonus is 10, and this is race bonus 5, so I'll actually have race bonus 35, and you actually get a small bonus to uh, uh, your skill points and, and all your stats when you win races. Although you, you run like only 7 races or something like that in the, in the new scenario, so you don't, you don't run that many races, so you really don't need race bonus, but you know, can't hurt. Um, if you just want stats, you can do this, um, and if you have, you know, this card at max, you can do this, or if you have, you know, Stamina Creek, uh, you can get your uh, recovery skill that way. Um, so, I mean, the good thing about this scenario, I think, is that, you know, you can use many different types of support cards, and it gives you a lot of flexibility. So I actually like that about this. Um, Harurara will also give you a, a recovery skill. So that's useful. Um, if I pair her up with... Uh, uh, this card here that I have, uh, where she go? That gives a race bonus 10, race bonus 10, race bonus 15, and then race bonus 10 from a Hatton Cafe. So that's a uh, 10, 10, 10, no, the 10, 10, 10, 30, and then 40, and then 55. <laughs> race bonus 55. <laughs> So that's, you know, I mean, race bonus 55 is actually a lot of race bonus, so that's actually something you might want to think about as well. Uh, wait, 10, 10, 10. Uh, 10, 10, 10. 30, 
45, 50. Yeah, race bonus 50, not 50. Race bonus 50. Uh, I did the math wrong there. So, 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 wait, 50 fast to time. So race bonus 50, uh, you know, basically means that uh, instead of getting, uh, you know, uh, well, you can't, you need race bonus 70 to get, uh, I think, five points when you win races. So race bonus 70 is actually quite hard. Uh, I think I would have to probably do something like this. Uh, where where are you to get race bonus 70 uh, I would have to do um, I don't see you you're up here somewhere <laughs> there so that's 15 that's 50 it's 30 40 50 ah! <laughs> And I would need 60 and 70, right? Uh, but yeah, that's like two. Uh, this is 30. This is 15, and this is 15. That's 30, 40, 50, and then 60, 70. <laughs> but uh, race mode is 70. You get five. Uh, so if people remember and make a new track, people really were trying to stack up race bonus as high as they can, and they were using cards like uh, I remember using cards like uh, where she go. Uh, uh, marvelous Sunday because that that gave race bonus 15 so that's like 15 15 15 that's race bonus 45 uh, then uh, 55 65 and race bonus 70 <laughs> people weren't using this card they were using uh, most likely uh, that's on black because that card was dominant back then um, and they would use like a full version of uh, where she go? I only yeah. You you use like a level fifty version of this, the not the top pro card that came out with the scenario, because that's ten, that's five, fifteen, 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 <laughs> and then you borrow you know like Super Creek ten, and then you get that race bonus seventy, and boom boom boom. Boom. Every time you run races, you get more fans, and this card eventually becomes, you know, uh, training bonus 20 because uh, uh, you can actually get up to a training bonus 20 with the number of fans that you got. So by the end of uh, year one, you you got uh, uh, the good. You only have like race bonus of like five or like seven or something like that. But by the end of year two, you you have race bonus of like. 20%, I mean, not race, you have training bonus of 20, and so <laughs> this became like a ridiculously powerful card. Uh, and uh, people would, you know, just stack their way up. <laughs> um, and uh, you, you could do uh, quite well, uh, actually. Um, if people want to try, they, they could actually try that, do uh, make a new track. Uh, with a race bonus 70 and just see how much stats you just add up to things uh, I mean now this card is better so uh, where she go personally I think this card is now better so <laughs> you could do this <laughs> You know, and run Super Creek and, and see how well, see see the ridiculous amount of stats that you can get when you win every single race that you run and make a new track. Uh, that was also the scenario that drove people nuts because, uh, <laughs> uh, the, what do you call it, the uh, alarm clocks just melted like crazy. Uh, but anyway, you know, uh, I don't know, I, I might seriously consider this. This is actually not a bad deck. Um, if you send out two betweeners, uh, where where she go? <laughs> there she is. So this one's easy. It's the end of the SSRs. And there she is. Right. Um, so you know this would be uh, 10, 20, 35, 40, 50. Well, you know, I, I could do a race bonus 50 card, so uh, 50 deck, you know, see what happens. Um, but anyway, I digress. That's it for now. Uh, another set of ramblings uh, and a uh, 
gotcha. I got nowhere. <laughs> Where I just used uh, all my uh, tickets from winning the uh, the 2500. <laughs> I'm sorry, the 2400. But yeah, no regrets. Uh, 10 more pulls. I'll be at uh, 30, and then I'll make a decision whether or not I'll pull uh, this uh, when I see the Halloween uh, uh, characters. If the Halloween characters are really, really good, then you know I might have to. Hold off on Lamone and just buy her with a ticket in the future. Uh, unless I can get her with this. <laughs> that would be the ideal situation. I, I get her with this. That would, that would be the ideal situation. I'm not going to look at the story because if I read the story, I know I'm going to want to pull. <laughs> so I'm going to hold off until. I'm going to hold off on that until the, the 30th, probably. Uh, and then, you know. Or, or at least until the pack alive, and then once I see the pack alive, then I'll watch the story and then you know, decide whether to pull or not. All right, so there you go. Uh, another set of ramblings here, and I gotcha. See you around. Take it easy.